Good afternoon, dear friends. Thank you for finding time to join us today. It was quite difficult after that excellent plenary session that was organized by their chair person and the speakers. I hope very much that although we are in a small hall and there are a few of us, uh, it will be a very interesting session. We've got together the most interesting people who understand the mortgage business and who has been in this business for many years and who have proved their metal with their experience and their knowledge that they are the flag carriers of the Russian mortgage business. I'm introducing them. I'll start from myself, Artyom Ivanov head of development of uh, mortgage business in Alpha Bank, Yuri Dyatkin, vice president of VTB, a well-known person in this market, Gusalev. He represents now Rosbank. Before that, he was in the VTB, square meter. Alexander Popov, the former XDOM click. Now it's Samolot Plus and very cool service. Dinara Yunusova, uh, she was from Delta Credit. Now she is general director of Ben Kiru. It's a special case, which is very interesting to observe and to see how it develops given the current position of the regulator and Alexander Lobov, Dom Click. Oh, we couldn't forget about him. He is probably the main player in the Russian mortgage market. I will start with him, but before asking the first question to our speakers, I will just outline what is going on in the market. This year definitely will be a record breaker for the Russian market, both in terms of volume and structure of issuance. I will give you just several figures. Currently, we predict over 7 trillion rubles. Mortgage lending is the main driver of development of credit portfolios. It accounts for 50% of all issuance in the Russian banking sector. In nine months this year, the soft mortgage loan programs amounted to 45 pounds of soft low. All soft mortgage loans started to develop. It's more than 94% of the primary market is a driver and we see how the um, the mortgage lending is growing we see a lot of uh, new construction we see plenty of accumulation on escrow accounts it would be all positive but for nothing what happens next year what happens given that there uh, the statutory rate is increasing and the regulator is uh, responding very rapidly to change the market. Well, I uh, ask the speakers and treat them not to be shy. Well, uh, I invite you to uh, get involved in the discussion and to state your opinion. I want our session to be interactive and ask people from the floor to ask the question. I hope our discussion will be constructive and useful and interesting. My first question is to Mr. Lobov. Alexander, don't click maybe the driver was going on in the mortgage lending business now. We got used to the situation uh, to the electronic registration. <clears throat> we got used to safe calculations. Uh, you studied many copy you and you set a standard of how a civilized mortgage market should look in the Russian Federation. No, it's not by chance that you account for more than 50% of it. Talking about the digital mortgage loans, how is it going to evolve going forward, primarily digital services? And uh, don't click opinion, don't click take of what's going on. Good afternoon. First, thank you for this uh, very high assessment of our achievements. Definitely, on the one hand, it's very nice to be a leader, but it's also cumbersome sometimes. And really, the services that we're launching uh, well, are quite a hard job because there is a lot of internal discussion, house discussion, whether some idea will take off or not. But if we talk uh, what is in store for our customers, it 
short term. Talking about digital services in general, these services will continue to develop. It not will be a simple story, it will be a sprint, it will be that a marathon run, but it will continue to develop. And uh, we aim to increase the number of deals. We have a variety of partners knocking at our doors, primarily developers. <coughs> they ask us to give an opportunity to issue uh, loans from their office. We're piloting this opportunity, we'll be supporting that. But we want a broader view on the situation. A procurement of an apartment should not be from some office. But in principle, uh, we want to switch to the extent possible to the online mode and you could have the mortgage loan without visiting a developer's office or a bank's office. Talking about our take of the market, uh, I am not optimistic, definitely. I'm not pessimistic, definitely. That is, in our view, the next year in terms of volume will be similar to 2021. Do you remember 2021? I missed my mm, predictions and the market set a new record high, but the record high was overshot already. There will be no new push, but, but it will be quite a decent situation. Uh, we'll be issuing mortgage loans. The secondary market it may be in some trouble now, but we'll see what happens. It's a new statement. I will never think that the Sberbank has the biggest number of outlets in Russia. We will be prepared to w say publicly that they are going to switch mortgage issuance to their partners' offices. Uh, partners generally the client's flow, the client stream. A partner has the real estate which attracts the client. Talking about partners, I invite Artyom to comment and then Vyacheslav. How your banks uh, structure their dealings with partners? What is the share of partner issuance? Good afternoon, colleagues. <coughs> the partner channel is the main driver of our sales. As of today, partner channels accounts for about 80-85% of our sales. Generally, when we started our business, our mortgage business back in 2018-2019, uh, last year we started to develop a major uh, project, a partner's platform. We started to work real estate agents and realtors and inviting a lot of partners. Generally, it is a successful project, in my opinion. Uh, we increase the share of uh, completed apartments, ready apartments. But what we are doing? In recent maybe three or six months, we rearranged ourselves and uh, we started we started agents who work on our partners. We had to sell not only mortgage products, our partners sell cards, debit and credit cards. Generally, partners are prepared to sell a wide range of banks' products. Real estate agents, they have small wages and their income depends on the commission, on the number of deals. And it's common knowledge that we started not to develop some showcase scenario. No, we invite partners, we pay them agents' commission, and it's, it produces a good effect. We reshuffled our pros in such a way that directly maybe on the next day we may pay our agent for a completed deal. And then in our bank generally, but but we are leaders maybe global and totally. MLM banking, what does it mean? Where if we look at Oriflame or even we use partners 
partners uh, will invite their partners. It is sort of a network marketing. And it works on our partner platform. Uh, partners who are long-term partners at display of interest, they invite their own junior partners and they can generate bigger revenue, they can sell more. It's it's the best of our interest. And we allow the senior partner to manage their junior partners. So they give us some statistics. Well, they will allow them to split their commission fees. Generally, the project is quite successful. We have a not conventional view. We do not say, let's say only mortgage loans. No. So we try to offer new services and we succeed, in my opinion. It doesn't require a lot of investment on our part. Uh, well, there is, there is not much investment in a mortgage business. The margin is pretty low. We've managed to strike a balance. We found our own segment, our own niche. Although the rates were not competitive, and it was uh, it, it it was not our our edge. What what about meeting the requirements of federal law 115? How to sell a product to a client if uh, the employee of the partner is not an employee of the bank? And we identify a client in our office and uh, we launched a sort of courier service. If our client is not a client of the bank, uh, we send a courier who identifies the client and uh, well, a stronger electronic signature is issued. And there is a growing interest towards uh, electronic deals, the agent uh, is a channel for uh, attracting clients, but we identify our clients uh, complying with the all requirements of law 115. Uh, Artyom discussed a cool innovation for our market. I want to challenge him to ask some question. But generally, there are not many deals and uh, the procurement, the purchase of apartment uh, is not a frequent deal. And how a realtors who have not been taught how to sell other bank products uh, are ta taking care of this objective? Maybe we have about 10 to 15 percent penetration rate. Yes, transactions. About 15 percent. Uh, these are clients to whom realtors sell cards. It was a pilot project. We started by started to sell debit cards. We started to optimize our payment processes. We started to issue our debit card to our realtors. And the realtors started to use it while uh, quite attractive conditions for transactional activities. and. Uh, it is a cool thing for our realtors. It's a pretty pragmatic approach originally, and now uh, it's an emerging channel for additional sales of banking products. And I think the next year, all those who are doing, who are in the mortgage business, will be looking for new sources of monetization, and the infrastructure and the employees which are available in the mortgage business are there. While in the mortgage business, the credit margin was low, and then, uh, well, uh, we want to develop it. And your realtors, are they able to sell banking products? Do you have a lot of them? I'm listening to you attentively. Samolot Plus, Samolot Plus. We have 935 outlets across the country. 10,000 agents were growing rapidly. When we meet a company, we have two models. First, one of our big office, 20, 30 plus agents. They have a mortgage broker and several banks. Uh, there is a contract with all 
companies and franchise partner receives a part of the banking commission. In the second model, a small office, seven to eight people, there is no mortgage broker, there is no HR, no lawyers. There is only the head of a group of agents who challenge them, mentors them, and coaches them. And they buy all services uh, online from Ofao, Novosibirsk, and their realtor's competences is a competence of a salesman or and it's not an advisor for detailed consultation on financial services. It's a funnel where we accumulate all the needs of a client. If you like it, well, you can have it. We'll give you a limit, and within this limit, you will decide what you're going to buy. And for an agent, it's important not how fast the bank will pay, no, but how fast it will be able to complete the deal. Well, the banking fee is a sort of uh, moviton. When I was on the side of the bankers, I thought one thing. Now I'm on the other side, I, th I think it differently. For uh, real estate agents, the key thing is to co consummate a deal, and the don't click service will, will issue an approval within five minutes 60% uh, of uh, Sberbank, uh, Sberbank customers are uh, on the payroll projects. Well, we uh, can give you advice to our clients. You are looking for a two-room apartment. You can have a three-room apartment. Uh, you start to manage your client. And uh, this uh, era of a platform. A realtor doesn't have to know the terms and conditions of the bank. He just have to enter a service and to say, this is the amount. Okay, let's do a deal. And then alpha people say that uh, the agents uh, uh, come and go and they uh, use the system. Maybe uh, it is a workable one, but uh, we are supposed to, to train these people to get them together, uh, to coach them, to support their knowledge, and the realtor may have uh, one deal per month, so who is a good one, a real good one, and a bad one has one uh, per three months. and. Uh, it could be one mortgage even over the four, six months. Uh, let's uh, teach uh, that people. And uh, when I start examining all these uh, factors, I may say, OK, let's get trained and we will see what happens then. And when we sell the banking product, uh, the mortgage, for example, uh, we have uh, 2.5 banks in the wallet of any client. And uh, we may also offer the third bank, but it's a challenge. And the result of our Alpha is uh, stunned me a lot, and uh, Alpha actually has a very good portfolio uh, for these uh, decisions. As to Ross Bank and its uh, partnership business, there uh, I see no novelty in what we are doing. About 70% uh, of sales are uh, rooted on a partnership relations, and the uh, Ross Bank uh, don't. Uh, exercises its business uh, for the sake of partners, and uh, we are putting various uh, questions uh, as to the digital mortgage. Already we have digitized, uh, ideally, the mortgage uh, lending package. I mean the application, uh, the loan, loan uh, the improvement, and other um, papers like appraisal, uh, registration, and gently with uh, Rose uh, Register, uh, this um, service may be provided automatically. We can do it anywhere and uh, any other way, and uh, we analyzed it and uh, also used the cap to sign it. But 
uh, we have uh, to deal with an, uh, the back side of the coin. And uh, if something goes wrong, uh, with a client, and it would be a sophisticated client and hard to deal with a client, and he may stuck in that digital pipeline. And then we have to uh, treat this person individually and uh, privately and be flexible. And therefore, uh, we uh, have to compete uh, with the leaders of the market, having over 50% of the market share. And it's hard to deal with uh, this uh, group of people. Uh, we do not have extra equity, and thus we have to find the way out uh, for various deals. So we have these cases in place, and we uh, promptly uh, offered uh, uh, the client a deal uh, to uh, grant a loan under the collateral of three objects of uh, uh, the uh, real estate. And uh, there are quite a number of cases of that sort, and we try to deal with them on the partnership uh, basis and digitize them. Rose Bank Dom is famous for their high tech, and which is a fun foundation uh, for the uh, follow up digitalization. Zhenya, uh, will you specify what is going on, what is going to happen in 2024? You are uh, the second um, uh, top bank at the market in terms of mortgage lending. What are your forecasts and uh, what are your views of, for the future? Uh, this is a quite a multifaceted issue. Uh, and indeed, 2023 is a fantastic year. Nobody expected to have such a size of mortgage. It will be 3.5 billion rubles for mortgage lending, and that's the maximum amount for the Russian Federation in terms of mortgage. And so where we are now, we see quite a high key rate, and it has been growing and reached the 15%. And we uh, see that the secondary housing uh, is not so attractive as it used to be till uh, the first half of 2023. And uh, the um, a mortgage um, uh, rate is very high for the secondary housing, and uh, people are not very much interested in that market any longer. And there should be a serious lending uh, provided for that particular uh, housing category. And uh, but the second component, which is a positive one, is the primary market, and it presupposes. And uh, at the present day moment, uh, to have a mortgage uh, uh, supported by the government. And they're going to support the customers this way uh, further. And uh, actually, the people are mostly focused on the uh, buildings being constructed. And uh, next year will also uh, be characterized by 2024. It will be the family mortgage program uh, with the government aid. And by uh, mid uh, of this year and the first quarter of 2024, uh, it was kind of a battlefield at the level of the ministries and regulators whether the program of state support is going to be prolonged. And uh, this uh, program with due regard uh, to the uh, key rate of the bank uh, uh, will uh, be very cumbersome uh, for the budget. And now the situation looks somewhat different, and with a high level of probability, the program of government support will be modified. And this program would be either narrowed down or even scrapped. And anyway, the demand is high. And the construction business is a very intensive one. And the uh, government uh, support uh, should be provided uh, to the population uh, on, uh, the ba on the basis of uh, the target audience and uh, the demography 
is another driver uh, for the mortgage lending. But uh, the bad thing about uh, the government support is uh, that people buy the uh, apartments uh, being guided by the investment purposes. And we anticipate the launch of the actual uh, mortgage lending. Uh, and uh, it is designated for the people living in the harsh climatic conditions. And we opened up a number of applications for this uh, program. And in the foreseeable future, we are going to issue uh, the uh, first uh, packages of this program uh, for the people living in uh, harsh conditions or where the industrial enterprises are concentrated, which are strategically critical for this country. And I would like uh, to pay uh, the attention uh, to the medical staff, uh, to the teaching staff, having uh, not so high salaries. And we're going to create some conditions for them, too. The third novelty, uh, which would be infl implemented on the basis of the cluster programs, uh, is the young Younger generation, and they, uh, they, it was real hard for them to uh, acquire their own housing. They uh, are not the full-fledged members of the economic activity, but the program is implementable, and uh, the younger generation may acquire the first housing, also uh, earn money uh, for the uh, first uh, housing jointly uh, with the government. So the government is going to support them uh, to accumulate certain funds. And uh, actually, uh, interest rate uh, will be uh, quite high for them if the money are used uh, uh, not uh, with due regard uh, to the purpose of uh, the accumulation. And we're supposed to launch the pilot project. And the specific Institute for Development, uh, Dom RF, the House of RF, already have this earmarked uh, programs and targeted programs. And thus, we may resolve uh, the uh, challenge of 2024. And uh, uh, the demand at the market uh, might uh, somehow decline and it will negatively affect the construction market. Also, it's worthy to mention the uh, target aid uh, for the population, and uh, we may implement a very serious initiative. In autumn, uh, the State Duma uh, issued a document, and uh, it anticipates uh, the uh, drafting of the law on the uh, pro and that is how you buy uh, the new housing uh, straight from the developer. And so far, uh, this market does not have a specific mechanism for the acquisition of uh, the property. And But uh, people do not trust this particular market. Maybe the confidence uh, will be uh, growing. Uh, due to our new officials and new more professionals uh, will arrive uh, at this market. And actually, we have to adopt uh, the law on the um, EJS market, the housing market. And uh, that is uh, how we are going to provide the individual housing construction. And already we have these proposals in place. And uh, we have quite a number of funding uh, for that particular purpose. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, the market, uh, by the way, uh, operates pretty well. But I'm talking about uh, what to anticipate at the market by 2024. Actually, the uh, uh, rates will be quite high, and it will be hard to refinance them. Uh, fundamentally, at the market, we have a very low a level of uh, delay, and it's 0.3 percent. And also, it's worthy to mention the uh, ratio of the mortgage uh, debt uh, to the uh, gross uh, uh, domestic product. and. Uh, uh, gross national product. And uh, we have uh, some good perspectives uh, for 
uh, the development of that particular business. Uh, we have this ratio uh, counted as 10 percent, but uh, other economies have 90 percent of this ratio. It is all due to the privatization uh, initiative, and uh, the majority of the population are the owners of their own house, and they uh, have a right to uh, live at the same place they used to uh, live, and this is again an economic driver, and uh, it will be uh, very good for the market to grow. And that, in a nutshell, I ask, answered your question. I guess uh, we have initiated the discussion. Uh, the market uh, will be developing further, and uh, the margin is inadequate, but the suppression and influence onto the market is very high. And we're supposed to find some new formats, some new digital solutions. Otherwise, it will be of no interest to the banks to work with this particular product that they have now available. Uh, my question goes to another speaker, to Dinara. Uh, she's supposed to say something. Uh, Dinara is at the head of the largest department of the Russian Federation. Uh, and the Bank of Russia announced its uh, uh, statement on the marketplace. Uh, and these are these designated organizations uh, which would be responsible for issuing various projects. And Bank Rule is the subsidiary organization. And Dinara, my question goes to you. Uh, will you please uh, specify uh, whether you trust uh, the mortgage within the foreseeable future we're supposed to have it in place and what else uh, use needs uh, to be added uh, so that to compete with the traditional players at the market thank you so much uh, what gives us this new status in practical terms, uh, we have acquired the license from the operators of the financial platform, uh, allowing us to identify our clients. And we started from the simple products, uh, from loans. Uh, and 70% uh, of earnings uh, uh, go from the uh, credits. And the history of that process is very interesting now, uh, nowadays, and deposits uh, are to be attracted and also raised. It has become a very interesting story, and 30% uh, 30 percent, uh, 30 percent, uh, has become uh, this uh, funding available. And uh, actually, we have to speak about other products like uh, mortgage lending. And we've, go, uh, we've acquired a license uh, a year ago, but the process of integration is a very complicated one. And as uh, to the deposits, there are 30% of people who come at uh, the platform, and they are ready to be identified uh, by the bank rule. And they place their deposits uh, at a certain platform. And the behaviors of users is changing. and. Uh, uh, the trend, the online trend is an obvious one, uh, though offline is a preferable trend. Uh, we have number four. Um, we are number four in the top of uh, mortgage lenders. Uh, we are somehow hampering this uh, process. Uh, we have uh, these uh, two digits nowadays as uh, the key rate. And uh, the same is true of uh, the percentage for the mortgage lending, uh, but we really have to survive until 2024. And in my opinion, the digital mortgage will take place with uh, its uh, criteria of uh, priority. And uh, actually, once in seven years, uh, people approximately uh, use uh, mortgage lending um, as opposed to the uh, mere lending process. Uh, but why do we need it? Uh, what, wh why, uh, who uh, are in need of that? Uh, the uh, mortgage is the most sophisticated and complicated product. Uh, and the off-topic is that the banks indeed technologically 
uh, promote this process. I'm not talking about Sperbank, uh, they are the leaders. And uh, what do we see in now? Technologically, upon the integration uh, with the credit cards, so we have a high level of penetration uh, for seven banks. Um, and seven banks may give online decisions for more, for more uh, mortgage lending. Uh, the client has uh, to get a decision promptly, and this is uh, the essence of online uh, process. Uh, we may also, within 15 minutes, uh, uh, give the final decision. And you may be stunned, but uh, we've transformed this process already, and for that we need a partner. Uh, for, for that, we need a partner who will uh, actually work with us, and that's uh, the key showstopper. Mortgage is a very uh, multifaceted product, uh, and uh, we have to uh, put together the documents, identify the collateral, and in this uh, very moment, we see how the funnel is breaking. This year, we launched a separate R&D project, uh, turnkey mortgage loan. Well, the employees of Bank Eru support the deal in online mode. I was encouraged by the experience of Rosbank Dom, uh, well, because there is a sort of succession, and we made it in house, and it proved to be a very good experience. We are preparing for 2024. I will see it will be a seamless process with. A user will come to us with millions of users uh, hoping for approval, and I hope it will be just a quarter or an hour and 27 banks offering something, but not seven, and then, then we will do whatever is required. On the one hand, we'll have a sort of digital side, but there will be people. People like to ask questions. I'm listening to our mortgage advisors who understand that people are excited, they do not understand the process, they want to ask questions. And then probably on Bunker platform be able to sign loan agreements and maybe refinance something or our vision is such. Have I answered your question? Thank you. Slava, you want to add something? I wanted to say that we see a growing mortgage sector where a cash loan against the security of real estate. I think that next year this segment will be developing very rapidly, uh, which will boost the total uh, volume of issuance. Tinkoff may say a few words about that because with them, the segment is well developed. I can confirm. Yes, yes, they're a leader in this segment. And I looked at processes there. Indeed, I picked up a lot of useful there. Well, then uh, they're giving up the uh, report on valuation. Uh, it's an innovation. When I returned from Tinkov to Sber, I said that if we make a loan against the security of real estate uh, better than Tinkov, then we'll see a huge opportunity. We did that. Frankly, it's uh, difficult to say. Well, the issuance volumes are pretty small, pretty low, only one or two percent of total issuance of the bear bank. And when you come to a team and say that, well, we, <coughs> if we miss something in the primary market or secondary sec segment, we'll be losing more. But I'm still interested in the story and quietly promoting it. I think that product is underdeveloped in this country. Mm, I think it's fusion. Yes. My question is to Alexander Popov. When Smalot Plus as a business model was created, there was a lot of interviews where you and your partners discussed that you are not a real estate agency, that you are a platform offering a wide range of services to your clients. 
My question is, have you completed the platform or not? And secondly, since you are dealing directly with clients, you understand their needs. And given uh, the digital services, what they want, what scares them, what banks should give it to you so that the client's trajectory is ideal, the trajectory that you dream of. You ask so many questions in just one question. You are the only representative of this agency. I will need several minutes to explain that. Samolet Plus, yes, we do not create an agency. Uh, it's a service for apartment solutions from the transaction to overhaul and furniture. We have small offices in the regions uh, where uh, we know all the real estate which is available for sale. We have photos of all apartments and we put it uh, on our platform. Only those apartments which are really available for sale. Then we find buyers for this apartment, those who want to see in that district. And we make a tour for our customer around this apartment. Well, we show the district to him. Let's we say that we have all apartments here because uh, we can show you maybe several, several apartments here. We know managing companies, we know all the buildings here. And it is not possible to achieve without platform. You have to store your knowledge there. And the realtors, real estate agents are new. You have to train them, you have to coach them. We need a university, a professional university. And we become a sort of university, a storage of knowledge of houses and districts. We accumulate this knowledge and teach such knowledge to our realtors. If a client lacks an apartment and he doesn't have a source of funding or has uh, an approval of Sber in 45% of cases, just uh, he, he he's done the pricing. But in 40% of cases, Dom Click has an internal approval. We take this approval and work with it. The entry is very simple. You just put your bid there and you have a limit for any program, then you can check the program which is interesting for you. It really supports us. It uh, simplifies the approval service for us. If there is no approval, uh, this function will be soon available to you. But when there is no approval, we start to search why Sberbank doesn't approve or payroll project and Alpha Bank. If there is a payroll project with a bank, we send the client to that through a distance document. Well, you are all digital people and we work on the ground. I strongly advise you to go to Samalot Plus office and you to work there for three days. You will understand the truth of lie. You will see the figures that do not exist in life on the client's strategy, uh, trajectory for approval, uh, it's okay, but then trash starts. There are risks, divorces, uh, some heritage, etc. Try to buy an apartment. You will not be able to do it in 50% cases. In our case, you will be able to see at least an apartment. And uh, in other agency, they will show you other apartments, not the one you are interested in. And we're in this region, we try to find our way. Then you have to structure a deal with the young families, mother capital, etc. Nothing is made automatic. And we are on the ground where there is lack of automation and plenty of shadows. Dom Click made an approval, and the rest of the service, we have to structure everything. It doesn't exist. And we in Samolot Plus are finding our way there. When I moved from Dom Click to Samolot Plus, I thought it would take us three months to do it. We spent nearly a billion on that, and uh, only we have 12 in house products. 
we move the client from uh, the seller to the buyer, etc. Onboarding, registration, cross management cabinets, uh, indexes of objects, all that we describe as a digital platform. We also bought Dombook. We call it digital platform. And it's up, it eats up our investment. We spend a lot. But we're confident that at some point in time the capital costs will come to an end. Will be over. We'll make eight thousand outlets and we'll be present in all district. Like in China, we'll know all houses, we'll have all the knowledge and we'll work on that. And we'll be able to distribute your digital products, which are not 100% digital. And we'll see how we can implement it in the real sector. Excellent. Thank you. I will uh, follow up on Alexander's statement. I really support Jane's opinion that in the long-term perspective, everything will be fine with their mortgage lending. But in the next year, we see the factors which will determine the success. If you remember the year of pandemic, the pandemic gave rise to electronic transactions, e-transactions. If you look at our mortgage market in general, before 2020, approval of client was considered to be a digital transaction. Once pandemic onset, everyone was constrained, uh, communications were constrained, only remote, etc. And people in uh, two, three months made uh, e deals. But now, maybe between 30 to 70 percent from top 10 banks are done uh, online. Uh, Alexander says, what Alexander says is that there is uh, there is nothing that will make banks to look at the object. Well, we learned how to improve, but an object presents difficulties. Given that the rates are rising and there are less deals now, and uh, I don't know what about the key performance indicators, but uh, well, uh, more or less people are optimistic, but the next year potentially may be the year where all where we will be there to look at the final element of this mortgage deal that is a real estate. What Alpha does to this end? The, everyone says that conversion less and each fourth loan is issued. Frankly speaking, nothing. We looked with a sort of different problem, how to bring the client to a document package and then we'll be able to do it manually. Uh, Karin is responsible for that many operations. Quality and speed are a commodity. And, and I think that we are coping with that pretty well. But today, and I've just identified it to myself, that it may become a serious competitive advantage uh, to be able to work uh, with uh, the majority of the um, lending objects. Uh, already, uh, I uh, visited uh, this object. I will give my photo to you and to the agency, uh, and uh, uh, we will work together. And uh, when there are quite a number of objects, uh, the bankers uh, uh, have to deal with the great flow of clients, uh, and we have to digest it. But uh, there could be some illiquid uh, uh, objects, uh, and this is a trend of today, and we have to uh, structure it and optimize it. And it is the last component part in the digitalization. Uh, uh, thank you, Slava. I have another viewpoint. Banks do not have to deal with that. Why so? And as the realtor's services value will be discounted. 
good. And uh, already we used various uh, platforms and uh, saying that uh, we do not need uh, any realtors uh, at the market uh, or any banks at the market either or. Uh, so you automated it all. Uh, banks say go, uh, yes to the client and the rest will go to the partners and this is a good uh, partnership uh, story so we have two businesses uh, one is a black one and another one is a gray one is the it's the realtors business which is not 100 percent official and uh, we really have to make it more transparent. Uh, do not forget that 70% of uh, the apartments are to be improved and renovated. And now uh, we have to uh, improve uh, this particular part. And when you again have to deal with the renovation with some uh, near shore countries and we also have to manage this process and we should try uh, to do the business more, uh, more transparent one. Yes, it's not your piece of cake. Uh, it's, this is a very painstaking one. You have to make conditions pretty uh, fast uh, and test everything and invest. And uh, per quarter, there could be quite a number of hypotheses. But as to the banking business, you take one uh, for six uh, months. Uh, so bankers are not very successful in here. Uh, the question goes to Sasha Lobo. What about DomClick? What do you do in that uh, sphere? And you turn to be quite a revolutionary one. Uh, and further on, it is uh, subject to replication. And uh, actually, you have to say no to the appraisal part. I fully agree with Slava, but uh, also I have my own viewpoint. And let me share uh, my expertise. I uh, bought once an apartment and uh, I was a, a seller. I was not an agent. And the agent kept calling, saying that we had a mortgage lending. And he was kind of relaxed as he understood that the banking period for issuing a mortgage is about 30 days. And within 30 days, we just wait and see. And there was another story that people would like uh, to buy for cash a certain apartment. And then people say, oh, no, uh, let's wait for a while. Uh, do we, how we would like to make an advance payment. And uh, there were quite a number of uh, such people willing uh, to work uh, in that uh, mode. But uh, again, 30 days of the bank. Uh, how much do we need, what is the period of time for issuing the mortgage? 155 minutes. And we found quite a number of deals worth 300 minutes. And what are we doing? Uh, it was the deal per se or the preparation of the deal? It could be 15 minutes, uh, and it's uh, we who formulated all these requirements. Uh, we have to calculate how many uh, simple deals uh, we need, uh, how many simple deals we exercise, and we need eight documents, eight documents. I am not g going to cite other numbers. Uh, for other uh, banks. Yes, uh, this is just a virgin land in here. We really have uh, to reassess this business. As to the consumer uh, loans, um, I uh, actually uh, arranged a uh, credit for myself uh, when I went along the park with my daughter. And in two or three minutes, uh, we may have uh, a deal uh, for uh, getting money. And uh, we would like mortgage lending to be the same. Uh, yes, 
uh, we are uh, actually using the two minutes approval and then 150 minutes for the deal itself. Yes, it's a very uh, interesting uh, moment for us. And say a person would like uh, to improve his housing. That's a very good service. And uh, we may have uh, various uh, cases uh, and uh, various registration uh, problems. Uh, so time is uh, precious for us. Uh, it is all due to appraisal, to insurance, and other uh, factors uh, to take into account. And we do count uh, all the risks, uh, but uh, now we have AI. A uh, big uh, database, and uh, we may assume uh, certain risks using our model. And the majority of banks and, the, and some realtors understand what is needed. Why are they in such a need? Actually, a realtor um, is uh, a, a good factor, human factor. He may uh, talk uh, in person uh, to a client, and uh, this is it. Uh, but as to the formal part, uh, the online uh, registration, it's a very good service. And for us, uh, it is uh, important to mention that if a person, a client, do not have to see the deal uh, from inside. I just wanted to, to add about the partnership relations, about the service uh, uh, for real estate. And when we structured the business in Alpha five years ago, and we central had centralized sales, uh, and everybody work, uh, said that it won't work. But uh, for the uh, third year, we are in top three. And uh, when we arranged the partnership uh, at the same platform, uh, we uh, already have uh, the uh, construction uh, finished. And we also have partners with the bank, MLM Channel. Uh, does not coexist uh, with realtors alone. Uh, it's uh, as their agent uh, in the bank, and everyone uh, who would like uh, to work with that bank, uh, so uh, you may uh, do it via the bank. And uh, I would like uh, to dwell upon the first, uh, second subject, which is going to be uh, really um, substantial next uh, year, uh, and uh, we have a. Uh, very good experts in our bank, and we uh, studied the needs of the partners, and we organized the trainings. And uh, at, the, at some point of time, there was a, a tunnel uh, without light at the end of the tunnel. The best service is the one uh, which does not exist. And uh, the requirements of clients uh, get to be very high. And we jointly with Artyom negotiated uh, with the major partners. Uh, we organized the roundtable discussions and task force. But in 2024, the partners and realtors uh, do not have uh, a training as a focal point and uh, improving the knowledge of their realtors. I appraised a very good organization at the uh, Moscow market as to what kind of trainings they uh, arranged. There was the time management, uh, the delegating some uh, standalone uh, uh, events with the banks. Uh, we have Alpha Mortgage Academy, but nobody improves the knowledge uh, of realtors, and this is a big problem. And uh, we have cases uh, when we send the uh, decision uh, with requirements uh, to the real estate, and the person also. Uh, gave uh, 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 a pledge, uh, but uh, not everything has been checked. And uh, next year, we're going to use uh, the new platforms 
new platforms uh, for realtors and the literacy of realtors uh, should become higher. And we had a case with Artem, and the receipt was necessitated, but no, actually, this receipt was not in need. And we, we had a realtor, uh, and he said that Ross Register wanted this receipt, but this receipt was abandoned nine years ago. We have to work together with realtors. Uh, you, we may have quite a number of a billion uh, worth uh, services, uh, so, uh, so on and so forth, and we have to improve our skills, improve our knowledge, and the, uh, there should be the minimal uh, hygienic measures to be applied. Only then our service may be built up. Uh, jointly with uh, government support, but I think large scale banks, large scale uh, platforms uh, have to be put together in order to give realtors a good chance to develop. We are already uh, in uh, the space uh, using quantum leaps, and they do not know whether a certain receipt is necessitated or not. Uh, Sasha, my question was uh, to you. But Sasha talks about other things. His agency will be serving as his own platform, ousting from the market those who were not ready to learn. And I would like to support Alexander. Let me say a few words about myself and how we streamlined this problem uh, three years ago. Uh, we had Gennady Rosa. And I was standing at the kitchen, and we tried to, to settle the problem uh, with one of our transactions. And uh, uh, we just uh, wanted to have it this way. And uh, actually, 40% uh, uh, of uh, deals uh, are settled without uh, any visits, but using the new technologies. And uh, we're supposed to have a clear understanding as uh, to how it works. Uh, and uh, uh, the question arises how we may uh, streamline this prog uh, problem this way. But not everything has been completed at the level of the banks. Much needs to be done, uh, but the central bank uh, just uh, closed uh, an issue with the remote identification of the deal and uh, they actually um, abandoned uh, their requirement for offline uh, deals. And further on, uh, all the market players uh, will fit onto the new system. Uh, there will be the biometric technology and other component parts, and the person will have not to go anywhere to be identified, and that will be a good uh, uh, chance for us uh, to use all these uh, services and uh, structure our business uh, appropriately and uh, on an optimized uh, fashion. And that is actually the regulator's business uh, to say no to identification. Uh, my last question is uh, the following. Uh, the question goes to everybody. At the plenary session, uh, we discussed uh, an AI uh, challenge. Uh, do we have to use AI? Uh, yes or no? How are you planning to apply AI if yes? Artem, let's start from you. I am not going to start from the mortgage lending, but from our bank. The consumer lending uh, already uh, relies on the AI models for risk management and the 99 uh, percent uh, of solutions uh, are provided uh, uh, automatically. And uh, already we talked about the uh, credits in cash. About 70 uh, percent by one click may uh, take a loan. And uh, about uh, 500 uh, various parameters are applied. And uh, the uh, models, uh, opportunities, and resolution uh, are very high. And 
this is a very uh, breakthrough and disruptive story. And as to the mortgage lending, we take a very fast decision using some models. We are just studying them uh, because there are not so many available. And the uh, first swallow is uh, to test the flow of online channels via internet and we get the information from our partners and the conversion is not very high but the resource intensity is very high and we have about uh, 30 various factors and segment of a client and uh, the correlation uh, between the interest rate and uh, the amount and uh, how much my, uh, how much uh, time was used by a client to fill up uh, the list of documents and also we have some internal transaction activity and we view some other parameters on that score and we are launching a pilot when we will differentiate uh, this flow and each uh, client will uh, be given uh, this or that rating and uh, maybe Maybe it's a very pragmatic approach. We'd rather not to deal with the client. And we tested it at our stands, and there are quite a number of clients with whom you will uh, coordinate, and not necessarily that he will take a loan. So we would like to, to differentiate uh, the clients uh, who are prone or not prone to get a credit or a mortgage lending and much time is spent for that particular business. And we are the first to do it and to implement it in terms of uh, mortgage lending and AI. As uh, to the voice uh, uh, channel, the question arises whether we may uh, give them to voice chat or voice bot or provide the consultancy with the client. And we have quite a number of clients uh, who may be uh, consulted via various parameters. But we are somewhat cautious as to this uh, particular business. And we are supposed to experiment uh, with regard to the new sales. And these uh, technologies uh, will be implemented uh, quite uh, soon. And uh, uh, the, this is a very specified uh, process and uh, we need to automate this process but sooner or later uh, this uh, process will be automated Jenia, uh, thank you indeed we use ai all of us but people do not uh, even uh, realize uh, this particular uh, situation uh, but this particular technology will be available uh, for major companies and they may have their proprietary uh, findings and the AI uh, is a part of their own uh, uh, intelligence and they should be uh, connected with the uh, major players of the market. Um, they're going to use the instruments which allow them uh, to be uh, up to the mark in terms of uh, competition. It seems to be automatization of modeling and further use of AI. It is not a future, but it's already our present day. All companies implement this technology, so we do it also. But I have a pragmatic view. Is there a value added? And if there is no value added, and how much it increases the price of the process? Real AI requires significant crunching power, and while big companies are able to share it free of charge, but if you look at the electricity consumption and hardware, you will see that the unit cost is outrageous. Therefore, simple model oftentimes offer uh, very good solutions for applied objectives and the return on investment is much higher we're very pragmatic we apply automatics only to marketing 
technologies and not in mortgage lending. We look at sticky product which are of daily use to orchestrate and to uh, select the channel depending on the model of response. This is the story uh, which requires the biggest amount of investment. The second, uh, in terms of investment, is a collection. We help uh, a lot of banks to do the collection. Uh, there are plenty of models there which allow to bring to the recovery mode to uh, really impressive figures and at the same time to maintain uh, NPS uh, net present score in such activities. AI, uh, artificial intelligence, will not do everything for you, and it is not required, by the way. For the next three, three years, it is, we'll look at advanced model, switching to non-interpreting models, uh, look, we'll look at uh, graphic editors for digital promotions, which give very interesting images for promotion, and including merge perks. Do you do something and experience? Look, frankly speaking, uh, artificial neuron networks is to be born is if it is born, it is born on some base. We have Yandex search, GPT chat, where you can ask something, and they give you a well off-shelf answers. And most likely, the same thing uh, should start in narrow verticals. Uh, vertical of real estate is one of the near networks which should be enriched and it should have such service you ask and it answers who will be better to teach the neural net probably those who really understand the relations between the buyer and the seller and who understands what sort of apartments are bought by what sort of buyers who sells the apartments we collect this data now and our purposes when uh, an apartment falls into our view, into our system, uh, we'll be able to find all buyers who approached us for other apartments and we'll be able to understand that there is some match. It will accelerate time to market and then accelerate uh, consummation of transactions. In the same way, when our seller comes to sell an apartment, and we'll be able to up to upselling and to find the district and etc. We'll be using this in B2B. We try to teach them how it works, but then it should move to B2C when you open all the insight for the community. Let's say the community people of Russia, you want to experiment, to present experiment, what sort of apartment will be suitable, indicate your uh, job employment, your children, your age, uh, and tell us all of it, and it will give you a better answer, because the data includes the data of other transactions. We invest heavily in it. If it takes off in a year or two, it will be a major breakthrough in the real estate market. Naturally, we use it. We have 15 million registered users, not in the Sberbank. We call them uh, uh, user cards. We use them in credit products. When we rank our issues, as we call it, our models are structured and taught in such a way that uh, a user will find a product in banker room. Uh, well, for risky clients, the product parameters may be worse, uh, rate may be higher, or the down payment may be bigger. We may understand, we may bring users together. 
and ranking is built around that. I'm talking in simple words, modeling, banking, and communications. We communicate a lot with our users, and at different stages of the funnel, we understand what sort of communications should be used at this user. Such people never answer text message. They need push, for example. It's not spam, and on the other hand, we optimize our costs, and we uh, use a lot of service components, people's ranking with thousands of responses, and uh, we need artificial intelligence to avoid using people uh, doing it manually. AI pre uh, processes about 50% of all requests. Uh, Sber has even a bigger data. Risk assessment, store and income assessment. You understand that when banks will actively go in the segment, uh, uh, further to Artyom's story, when this summer, when we had a lot of applications, and well, uh, we couldn't stabilize the situation. And we apply tight requirements. Uh, uh, are they that important in some in-house information when we analyze that, that it is not necessary to answer a client in chat in five minutes? Up to 13 minutes, some people are prepared to wait, and conversion is not uh, damaged. At a SLA, well, it requires a lot of people to do. Globally, artificial intelligence, when people talk about it, I'm under impression that uh, everyone expects some unicorn which will make all of our dreams true, but AI is a pretty utility thing. Coming back to an application, it was 10 pages of application, let's score it and so some person manually does it. Now we see that. Uh, well, look at Sberbank when I've received 30,000 applications per day, and the SLA in uh, three minutes will be able to re return it. Without NI, NI help, it will be impossible. People will not be doing it manually in several minutes, no matter how many employees you hire. We have a pretty utility view of the situation. We want to accelerate it. We want to make an invisible service and to make possible, impossible possible in terms of uh, fastness of approval. We work on this area and we, we unveil some secret. We understand very clearly that AI is a very risky story and we're not sure that it will take off. We, we want to create those helpers or aids which will help us to, uh, to uh, the client define his or her view on the apartment that he or she needs, and then we'll discuss the structure. Thank you. Probably we'll round up our discussion. Thanks a lot to all those who stayed with us. Thanks to our speakers. I enjoyed the discussion very much. It appeared to be very useful and intensive. Thank you very much. Good day.